Hey everyone, this is Ross and my Cory catfish have bred. So this morning, um, they were going crazy. All the males were chasing around the females. So I thought, oh, they might breed now. So uh, I came up every five minutes just to see what was happening. Because I was scared that the cardinals might eat the eggs. And I came up and I saw behind the filter intake tube, there was lots of white specks on the glass. So I knew instantly that was Cory eggs. I then got a little gift card, I scraped them off into a net and then put them in this little breeding trap so there they are get a good view from this angle there's a clump of them just at the tip of my finger there and I'm, I'm gonna estimate there's about 20 eggs there uh, two are white so I'm guessing they're unfertilised so I'll probably have about 18 baby Corys um, I was thinking I'll keep one just to say, well, I bred that because that's kind of cool saying that you've bred something. And the rest I might sell to a pet shop, so yeah, I'll get a bit of cash for them. Not too much, but it's nice. And I'll do plenty of videos of me uh, feeding them and whatnot. Showing, I'll show you me setting up the, the little tank. Um, by the way, on Friday I'll be getting some red cherry shrimp for the downstairs tank. And I've just ordered off eBay. Well, I ordered it last week. I've got some bio rings for the filter. I've got quite a lot there, so. Well, they're not just ordinary bio rings, they're premium bio rings, so. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know how they're premium, but. Yeah, so they're going in the little 200 litres per hour hang on the back filter in the 17 litre tank. So it, it's half the capacity of that filter, so. Should be okay, shouldn't be too strong. If it is too strong, then I'll find a way of reducing the current by making a, a diffuser or something. So, yeah. Just a quick update on my Cory catfish eggs. Bronze Cory Doris. Um, so now I know what Cory catfish like to breed. They like a nice planted tank. They like a nice water change of slightly cooler water. And... I like to be with her pals. So once these babies hatch, I'm gonna put some java moss in here because I got some spare java moss. And I heard they like to eat little microorganisms from that and stuff, and they feel a bit more secure in it. And then I'm gonna make my liquid fry food. I'm also gonna grind in some catfish pellets for them, and I'm occasionally gonna put some uh, tiny bits of potato in there for them. So yeah, it'll be cool. So I'll like show you the development every week. So if you like this vid, please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.